To build this project, we use components purchased from DigiKey, which has a huge catalog of electronic parts. To see a complete circuit diagram on how this circuit works, in case you want to try making it yourself, you can visit maker.io. There are links in the description below. Hey guys, it's been a while since we've updated the Batman Tumblr. And I gotta be honest, it's looking more like a Bat Baja, and I'm not too sure how much we're gonna have to modify the frame to actually make it look like a Tumblr, so that might not happen. But we've added a ton of stuff since the last video. Most notably, all of these light bars. We've got over 100,000 lumens of lights now available at the touch of a button. In addition to that, we've modified the frame a little bit, done a lot of wiring, and we've also added a trailer hitch in the back to add different kinds of attachments, including that turret we showed you in the last video. All right, let me show you how the lights work in a bit more detail, and then we're gonna take it for a rip. All right, so to control all of the LED lights on the Bat Baja, we're actually using a relay board connected in Arduino with a USB host shield, which means we can use this USB number pad to control each of the relays and each of the outputs. And we've laid it out very intuitively. So basically, if you press the upper buttons, it turns on the front lights, side ones, side lights. We also added Enter, which turns on all lights at once. But we also add some fun hidden Easter eggs. If you hold down Enter and press 007, you get strobe mode. If you hold enter and type in leet, you get lighthouse mode. We're planning on adding a few different modes, maybe random. And the beauty is there's 17 keys here. We got 16 relays. We're only using 11 lights right now, which means we have room for five more accessories. We're thinking Roman candle launchers, um, a horn obviously, and a whole bunch of other stuff. But if you guys have any ideas of other cool stuff that we can add to this, let us know in the comments below. But you want random? All right. Now for the purpose of this test drive, we actually removed the dual wheels in the back because we are in close quarters in here and we don't want to knock them off any of these pillars or posts. Um, I much prefer the look of it with the double tires and when we're testing out outside, we will be using them. Now for the purpose of this test drive, we actually removed the dual wheels in the back. Please tell me someone was filming that.
You missed one. You missed two. Come back, quick. Okay. Hope you enjoyed that video. As I've been saying, this is a year-long project. We're gonna be updating things on the Batman Baja as we go, and it's not gonna be finished anytime soon, but that's why we make these videos, so you can be along for the entire ride as we upgrade this thing and make it worthy of Batman himself. Quick note about the LED light bars. They were provided by YoShop, and we gotta say, we're pretty impressed with the quality. <laughs> we tipped the Baja onto this one. It didn't break. I mean, the brackets broke, but the light itself is completely fine and it's pretty awesome. So there are links in the description below if you want to check out these light bars, if you want to get some of your own. And I think we also have a coupon code. YoShop has tons of other cool products and I highly recommend you check them out. The link's in the description below. YoShop also provided us with some action cameras which we used to film this video. Uh, they're basically GoPros, but they actually have a screen on the back and the quality is pretty much equivalent. We're starting to use these in almost all of our videos. So if you want to learn more about them, there's also links in the description below. Anyway, thanks for watching and don't forget to make sure you subscribe to see the evolution of the Bat Baja. Thanks for watching.